guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to quickly outline some of the key benefits of using Quizlet to study for the MCAT, while also showing you how to use each of its essential functions. I will also show you how you can use Quizlet hand-in-hand -hand with our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. The first thing you should know about Quizlet is that it is extremely easy to make a free online account and access it anywhere. To make a Quizlet account, simply visit Quizlet.com and click sign up in the top right corner. You can easily make an account using your email or sign up in seconds using Facebook. To access your Quizlet sets on the go, simply whip out your smartphone, download their app in the App Store, and log in using the same account that you just created. Now you can study anywhere, which is essential for an extremely busy pre-med like yourself. Now that you have access to Quizlet online and in your pocket, let's talk about some of the essential functions that you will want to utilize in your quest for a top MCAT score. The first feature that you should know about is Quizlet diagrams. This is Quizlet's newest feature, and in my mind, it is one of their coolest. Many pre-meds swear by Anki, but making diagrams in Quizlet is now 10 times easier than it ever was in Anki. To make a diagram, simply click on Create and give your study set a name. Inputting the image that you want to use for your diagram is amazingly simple, as you can simply download the image from Google or wherever it is located and then drag it into the diagram box. It's that easy. The best part, though, is that you can quickly blur out the labels that already exist in the image using the tools built into the Quizlet user interface. And once you've blurred out all the text, you can add your own labels, which will pop up when you hover over them, allowing you to easily quiz yourself. And adding definitions to each term will allow, yourself, will allow you to quiz yourself on not just the term, but also the function of the term, which is extremely important for the MCAT. You can utilize Quizlet diagrams for free by joining our MCAT Quizlet diagrams class, the link for which can be found in the description for this video. While diagrams are great for quizzing yourself on the recall of terms, the actual MCAT will largely test you on your recognition of terms. For this reason, it is extremely important to make high-level note cards. To make non-diagram Quizlet sets, instead of dragging an image into the diagrams box, simply start writing note cards. And instead of the stereotypical term definition note card, I highly recommend making note cards that mimic the style of the AAMC. We give detailed tips on making top quality note cards in our Create Your Own Study Plan course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. Now, one of the best things about Quizlet is how easy it is to add image into each note card. Simply download your desired image from Google and then drag it into the definition side of the note card. It's so simple. Another great feature that you should take advantage of is the ability to star note cards. I would recommend starring note cards that you get wrong and then reviewing those note cards a second time by clicking on the options and then the study starred button. Then as you answer them correctly, you can unstar them, ensuring that you correctly learned every single note card in that set. Now that you understand the basics of making your own note cards, let's talk about how to integrate your use of Quizlet with our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. I strongly recommend that each of my private tutoring students makes a folder for each of the 10 content modules found on our e-course. You can create folders on the Quizlet homepage by clicking on the Create a Folder button. Simply give each folder the same name as the content module that you are working on. Then, within each folder, you can create one note card set for each lesson found within that module. Now, when you are reviewing your note cards for Lesson 5 of the Biology 1 module, for instance, you can study the Quizlet set built into our free e-course, as well as your own Quizlet set of the same name, making your studying extremely organized. And feel free to join the Quizlet class for our free e-course the link for which is also found in the description of this video. One reason that many pre-meds choose Anki over Quizlet is that Anki will remind you when you should review each note card. If you pay for a small upgrade though with Quizlet, you can do the same thing. But there's no need to spend this extra money because our free e-course will tell you exactly when to review each Quizlet set in order to have every concept fresh on your mind for test day. And our system of, re of review is much more organized than studying random note cards that Anki or Quizlet tells you to study. This is due to the fact that because our review system is organized by topic, 
which allows you to keep the information better organized in your brain for easy recall. As you can tell, I love Quizlet, and I think you will too, once you get started. Feel free to utilize the free Quizlet practice problems built into each lesson of our free e-course, and please feel free to reach out at any time with any questions along the way. I'm here to help. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT tips, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please comment below with any questions, feedback, or ideas for future videos. I look forward to hearing from you.